Perhaps the most common uh, mental math is squaring a number ending in 5. For example, if you do 35 square numbers ending in 5, the last two digits will always be 25. And to find the first few digits, instead of doing 3 square or 3 times 3, you need to do 3 times the next digit, which is 4. So you need to do 3 times 4, and that gives you 12. So that is 1,225. If I give you 65 square, the answer is 4225. Again, the last two numbers would be 25. Instead of 6 times 6, you need to do 6 times 7. So that will be 42. So that's 4,225. Try this problem. 95 square. You have 5 seconds. What's your answer? Yes, it should be 9,025. So the same thing. The last two numbers would be 25. And 9 multiplied by 10. So it gives you 90. So that is 9,000. 25. If you have numbers, for example, a three-digit number 105, square it, you can use the same concept. The last two numbers is again 25, and instead of 10 times 10, we need to do 10 times 11, which is 110. So that is 11,025. 125 square, the answer will be 25, the last two numbers, and we need to multiply 12 times 13, and 12 times 13 is 156, so that is 15,625. Now we will explore numbers that are more than 100. So for example, if we have 102 to the second power, this can be solved in 5 seconds. And the answer to this will be 10404. And I will give the explanations in a bit. Um, if you have 104 to the second power, that's 10816. 10,816. So probably you'll see some patterns there. But the first example, 102, that is 2 more than 100. So I will add 2 to 102. That makes it 104. That's the first three digits. Can you guess where did I get that 0 for? That's the square of that number. So 2 square is 4. But I need two digits, so that makes it 0, 4. You're seeing the same strategy, 104 square. This is 4 away from 100, 4 more than 100. So I'll add 4, that makes it 108. 4 square is 16. So you have 10,816. Alright, try these numbers. 108 square and 109 square. You have 10 seconds. So the first example, you should have 11664. Did you get the same answer? The second, 11881. So for the first example, that's 8 more than 108, so we need to add 8. 108 plus 8, that's 116. 8 square, you get 64. 9 more than 100, that's 109. 9 square, you get 81, so you have 11,881. What about if we have numbers that are more than 110? For example, 112 to the second power. 
So the same concept, this is 12 more than 100, so I need to add 12, which is 124. If I do 12 square, that's the tricky part, that's 144. That's 144. I will only write two numbers here, which means instead of 1, 2, 4, I will make that 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. So 12,544. Try 113 square. Five seconds. So the same thing, this is 13 more than 100. So we add 13, which is 126. So we have 126. 13 square is 169. I'm going to put 100, 169. So that means we need to add 1 to 126. So the final answer is 12,769. You got it? So we just learned squaring numbers that are more than 100. Now we will look at the numbers that are less than 100. So for example, if we square 98, so we have 98 square. So 98 square is 2 less, take note, is 2 less than 100. So the answer to 98 square will be 96, zero, 04. Can you guess where did I get that 96? Yes, you're right. I subtracted 2 from 98, so that's 96. And the last two digits, 2 square, just like the previous problems. So we have 9,604. So if you're squaring 97 square, that's 3 less than 100. So the first two numbers will be 94, because this is 3 less than 100. And the last two digits, 0, 9. So 9,409. Okay, let's try more problems. Now let's take a look at 89, 89 square, and see if that will give us the same answer, if we will use the same method. So 89 is 11 less than 100. So using the same procedure, we need to do 89 minus 11, that's 78. If we square 11, that's 121 but we only need two digits. So we need to put one, two, one, which means we need to add one to 78, that makes it 79. So the answer is 7,921. 86 square. 86 square is 14 less than 100. If you subtract 86 and 14, that's 72. 14 square is 196, so I put 96 here. And add 1 to 72, that makes the answer 7396. So 7396. There we go. You can solve square of numbers in less than 5 seconds.